Uh, our next guests are from Southwest Mississippi Community College. We called uh, uh, Stephen Bishop a few days ago and and uh, told him we'd like for he or uh, President Young or anybody they wish to send to uh, come by and visit with us while we're in town here. And so uh, got the call from Steve uh, saying that uh, Ms. Amy Gazzo and Jerry Malone drew the short straw. <laughs> <laughs> we're so glad to be here, Tim. Thank you. We are glad to be here. Thank you for inviting us. Uh, of course, busy day over there at Southwest. Uh, Stephen was telling me uh, you, uh, you have your first uh, orientation. Uh, first orientation for the summer today, this afternoon at 1 o'clock. Okay. We are ready. Expecting a big crowd? Of, we uh, are. Students. We've had many um, students sign up pre register. We expect a few to walk in. And we have these spread out all throughout the summer, and we're expecting big crowds at each one. I was just reading a, an article a couple of days ago about the spike in. And in uh, enrollment at the community and junior colleges, uh, people uh, getting retrained uh, yeah. after having lost jobs or, or uh, maybe fearing they're going to lose a job, uh, and, a, and a lot of people going back to school. I think there's a big realization that school is important and it is the link to job success. So we have seen an increase in enrollment, and we expect to see even more. That's uh, it, I tell you, that's to me, that's maybe if you're going to point out one strength of our uh, community and, and junior college system in Mississippi is that ability to very quickly uh, help people retrain to to specific careers that are available in the area and not just be shooting in the dark hoping they're, they're going right. to get something. And that's so true. We can uh, guarantee that students can come in in as few as um, one semester to two years, get trained in an area. There's almost a 100% guarantee with job success placement rate in many of our career tech technical programs, and then at a low cost, at half the cost of going to a four-year college. So it's great quality at half an, an affordable price. Uh, I know you folks probably have some things on your mind uh, that uh, you want to talk about, uh, Jerry. Uh, what's uh, main, what are the main things on your mind this morning? Well, Chuck, certainly glad to be here today, and appreciate uh, Ashley Furniture for having this program on, and, and for us to be here. So, uh, as Amy was talking about, this is an exciting time for youth, uh, students, and adults coming back to school as well. It's a small class and welcoming atmosphere at Southwest Community College, outstanding faculty, so we're pleased to have the students who have elected to come back to school for this coming, well, either summer or the fall semester. But we have other programs that someone may would want to enroll in if they were in the workforce or wanting to position themselves better to be in the workforce. A variety of workforce education opportunities from anything from keyboarding to computer literacy, QuickBooks, and things of that nature. Uh, also, we have the workforce classes that are, the, I guess the broad headings are really under safety, emergency, medical response, industrial and supervisory, those types of classes are available. And of course, anyone who maybe for whatever reason didn't get their high school diploma and they would like to come back and take a GED prep class and then position themselves to take a GED test, we have that available too. I think one of our uh, easiest numbers to remember if anyone wants to inquire about any of these services is the uh, central number at Southwest 276-2000. They're able to call that and just really inquire about any of the services that we have. Uh, what 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 about you, Ms. Gazza? What What's on your ma mind mainly this morning? Well, I mainly wanted to share all the activities that we have going on this summer as well as in the fall. We, as I mentioned earlier, have an orientation session going on today. We have three others that are going on during the summer months, uh, one being June 23rd at 9 a.m., July 7th at 1 p.m., July 14th at 9 a.m., and then right before classes begin in the fall, we have a final orientation session um, on August 12th at 9 a.m., and we encourage all first-time students to please come to one of those orientation sessions they are so beneficial. Students work one-on-one -on -one with an advisor. They schedule classes. They get one-on-one -on -one tours of the campus. So they can come that day, get their schedule, get a tour of where all their classes will be held. There will be no anxiety that first day of class wondering where is my building, where, who is my teacher. They get all that taken care of at orientation. They can even get their ID made that day. 
So everything is kind of taken care of at orientation and they will feel set and ready to go to their first day of classes. That begins Monday, August 17th for the fall semester. So we hope this summer to get them prepared, get all that anxiety out of the way and have them ready in the fall to come and join us. Hey, sounds like a plan. It is, it is. <laughs> and then during the fall session, we have homecoming. I know this is, sounds far away, but it'll be here in no time at all. Uh, Saturday, October 10th is homecoming, and we'll have a tailgate party for our, to kick off our first football game September 10th. So, you know, we invite the community, the public, to come on out, come see what Southwest is all about. We have a lot of great things going on at that community college. Of course, we had Coach Anthony on last month uh, when we were uh, in town and talked about the football team and, right. and uh, the prospects for the preseason uh, practice. Uh, but uh, Southwest uh, has really uh, brought back track and field. Uh, oh, absolutely. That had almost died out in the state of Mississippi. And uh, uh, you all have brought it back in a big, big way. <laughs> we do. We have so many great programs, athletic programs such as track and field. We have so many organizations, intramural, so fun activities for those that want to do it on a lighter scale, maybe not be in an athletic program, um, as well as those who want to compete and do want to be in athletics. So again, so many great opportunities, and I have to plug in again at half the price of some of the other institutions. So quality education, programs, lots of great programs. Um, I have to put a plug in also for our career and technical programs. We have two, our two newest programs include our health information systems technology um, and our process technology programs. Those just kicked off last year and we have seen such great success. We have a student in the process technology um, program who actually went one year, two semesters, and he went on with Chevron this summer for a full paid internship and will then come back in the fall and finish that program. So again, wow. great success. That's great.